everyone welcome to the next session of ansys workbench tutorials in this session we will see how to analyze a beam for its non linear analysis by using the static structural module we will first go to static structural and double click on it i will leave the engineering data as structural steel which is the default material of ansys Next, I'll go to geometry. Right click, new design modular geometry. Units I'll choose as millimeter. X Y look at. I'll go to sketching and I'll draw a rectangle. I will give it some dimensions. See the horizontal dimension is twenty five and vertical dimension is twenty. I'll extrude this beam. See this value is three hundred. Generate. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry and you can see here. the solid has material assigned as structural steel i'll go to mesh and insert method i'll choose the entire body say the method that i choose is hex dominant again i'll right click and insert sizing i'll choose the entire body element size here by default is 15 mm let me give it as 5 mm and update Now there are various types of beams possible. I'll go for a very simple beam, wherein I'm going to give one end as fixed. And on the other end, here, see I insert a moment. I'll change to component. It is along the z-axis. Say the value is fifteen thousand. It is showing anti-clockwise direction. Also, if I want to apply a force on this edge, I may apply a force. Say I apply a force along the x-axis as minus fifteen hundred newton. Next, I'll go to solution. And now, if I directly solve it for say deformation total, I want to see the stress equivalent, and I want to see the strain equivalent. What I will obtain by solving is the linear analysis of this beam. Now we'll go to deformation and we'll check. This is the deformation on this beam. This is the equivalent stress generated on the beam, and this is the equivalent strain of the beam. So these are all linear values that I obtain. Now, suppose if I want to change this analysis to non-linear analysis, what I'll do is I'll go to analysis settings. Here I will change. auto time setting from program control to on i am going to define by sub steps so let me say that the initial sub steps that i am giving is 10 the minimum sub steps i am giving is 5 and maximum sub steps that i give is 25 i will change solver type to direct and here large deflections are supposed to be set to on now i'll go to solution and solve now when you come to total deformation what you see is the non linear value for the system this is the equivalent stress and the equivalent 
straight for the body. Also, one more thing that you can add is by going to solutions, solution information. Suppose if I want to change the solution output to force convergence, I can see here where my force is going to converge. You can see it is starting here at 136.63 Newton and then at the end over here the value is somewhere between 5.23 and 6.65 into 10 raised to minus 2. So the value over here is quite less and that's where it converges. So this is a non-linear analysis of this rectangular beam. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to solve the same simple rectangular beam problem for non-linear analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.